And when we were in that meeting 10 years ago, in which the nomination, I was nominated three times, Grant, three times. I denied it twice. Because I did not feel that I could adequately complete that job. Well, the elders in the room took me into a back corner. And they said, today is the day. You will do the job, and you will do it well. I took up that man. I came to the state committee. I listened. I observed. And I began to understand that at that particular time, we had two Georgias. Some of us still believe there are two Georgias. There's a rural Georgia. Then there's an Atlanta, Georgia, okay? And I was born in Atlanta, Georgia. Grew up my adult life in True County. I learned that there are common connections between Atlanta, Georgia, and the other Georgia. That is the foundation in which I am running for this office because I believe in inclusion. I don't believe that people are numbers. We're not statistics. You can sit there and talk about 2.5 million voters, but do you know Tom Johnson from Harris County? Do you know Quentin Howard from Baldwin County? These are actual people. They are not numbers. They are not metrics on the board. And I understand metrics. I'm a Six Sigma Lean champion in my company. I understand metrics. I understand benchmarking. But relationships are key to building a foundation of a winning party. Woo -hoo. Woo. I want you to understand that relationships are key. I can sit there and I can knock on doors for the three months prior to an election, or I can start today. Woo. Building relationships with the people in this state so that we can build these relationships so they will vote for us, not because we have a charismatic candidate, because we have a charismatic party Woo! that has the belief, that they, they share the beliefs that they believe. We share the values that they share. In rural Georgia, we've not always, can we get an amen from rural Georgia? We've not always been paying attention to. Amen. Amen. And I've worked for the last four years to try to make sure that people paid us some attention. It's gotten a little bit better, but I realize that rural isn't the only group of people that are being not paid attention to. There are people in this body who are members of the group such as Indivisible. There are people in this room who belong to our revolution. There are people in this room who belong to the Democratic Socialists of America. And we all work in this last election cycle to try to get states and elected to be governor of the great state of Georgia. But there was not open lines of communication between these groups. I am assuring you, as the Knights Vice Chair of Constituency Groups, that I will open them doors. Because I plan on using my power as the bylaw of state to appoint you to constituency groups to form a DPT ambassadors program where we will engage, where we will engage those people and those groups and further groups that may become part of our universe. This is our goal, this is our mission, and as a veteran, I believe in completing the missions. I was a Boy Scout leader in the Chattahoochee Council. I had kids who were LGBT. I had leaders who were LGBT. They could not join another group because they would be out. They were able to come to my troop, perform, and get the, the, the necessary program that they asked for. You have to understand that also there were kids in our same council that were autistic had physical and mental disabilities that were not welcome in other troops. I welcomed them. Because inclusion is not just a political ideology for me, it is the way I live my life. Woo! So I ask you today, please, humbly, give me your vote. I am Scott Smith and I'm running for Vice Chair of Constituency Group. Right